beautiful fam! Hi everyone! Welcome, welcome once again to my channel Beyond Passions. My name is Princess. Last week I started a series on what I call I want to be like you syndrome. I want to be like you syndrome. If you're here for the very first time and you haven't seen that first part of my video, the link in the description below so that you can have the benefit of locating that video easily. Also put some links of related videos in the description below. To my returning subscribers, what would I do without you guys? Thank you so much for always coming back to view my videos, for commenting, for liking, and for sharing. Thank you so much. May God bless you all for me. <laughs> May God bless you all. <laughs> well, if you're new here, please do not pass by without smashing that red button that says subscribe and turn on the notification bell to all so that you will be notified every time I upload a new video. This is part two of I Wanna Be Like You Syndrome. Thank you and stay tuned. So let us proceed. Like I said, if you want to be like someone, don't forget that that person went through struggles, challenges, hurdles before they get to where they are and you admire them and would like to be like them. Therefore, I had said that you would need to ask yourself some questions. And I started last week. So here are more questions for you to ask yourself. These are thought-provoking questions in order to make us better, in order for us to be able to achieve what we admire, right? Ask yourself, did this person that you admire ever feel like giving up at any point in time? You know sometimes when the road becomes so tough, when the journey becomes so tough, sometimes people feel like giving up. But you know what I always say, do not give up. Because you never can tell that next second, that next minute, that next turn, might just be the turnaround of things for you. So don't give up. But the person that you admire, ask yourself, did this person ever feel like giving up at any point in time? So this will help you to see the challenges, struggles, and all of that that this person has gone through before you make that wish that you want to be like the yeah. person. How did that person overcome such overwhelming feeling of giving up, for instance? If the road was so tough and the person felt like giving up and then eventually the person overcame that feeling of giving up, it's important that you get to that level and cross it. So when you get to tough stages in life, you think of how to cross them. So you, you need to find out how that person overcame such overwhelming feeling of giving up when the road became so tough, when the journey became so tough. What are the struggles? What are the hurdles that your mentor conquered before getting to where they are today? What are the goals that they had set for themselves and what hurdles did they, did they encounter while trying to achieve such goals? That now they have achieved such goals and now you admire them without knowing the things they had gone through, without knowing the struggles, without knowing their stories, without knowing their hurdles, without knowing the challenges, everything that had happened along the way. So you need to know what are those struggles so that you get yourself prepared to set your own goals and achieve those things that you're admiring that your mentor already has. Are you prepared to go through such struggles and hurdles in life? <laughs> you know, there's a reason God does not show us the end from the beginning. It's only God who knows the end from the beginning, right? Yes. There's a reason he does not show us the end from the beginning. Because he knows that humans cannot handle the end when he shows everything to us. Therefore, we take things 
bit by bit. Now, why am I saying this? Suppose you know the struggles and the hurdles and the challenges that your mentor or the person that you're admiring that has gone through stuff and now has achieved and you're seeing that that person is there and has achieved these things. Suppose you know the things that the person has gone through in life to be able to achieve those things. Are you prepared to go through such things in life yourself? Did you ever think of this before you admired and said, oh, I want to be like you? <laughs> Remember, we are treating these questions to expand your mind. When you say, oh, I want to be like you, be careful what you wish for because it just might come true. What prizes did your hero or your mentor pay to get to where he or she is? What are the prizes he paid? What are the prizes he or she paid to get to where he or she is? Ask yourself, are you ready or willing to pay such prizes or make such sacrifices? Prizes, sacrifices in order to achieve what they have achieved. Don't just say, oh, I want to be like you when I grow up. I want to be like you. I want to be like you. I want to be like you. What aspect of this person would you like to be? So, ask yourself these questions. What sacrifices has this person made in life? What are the sacrifices that you are willing to make in order for you to get to that position that you so admire? How prepared are you if you must achieve those things that you admire, those things that you see this person has achieved and you say, oh, I want to be like you. If you must achieve those things, how prepared are you to go through the things that you have to go through in life? If you are not prepared to make sacrifices, then you can as well Stop wishing to be like them because you can't arrive there overnight. You have to make sacrifices to be able to get to where you want to be. Number 14, <laughs> ask yourself, how much time do you have to be able to achieve your desired goals? How many steps can you see along your way? Of course, you cannot see everything. You cannot see every step of the way till you get to where you're going, right? But at least you can see some steps, right? For instance, if you're going to go to school, if you're going to go to college or the university, you know that you're already going to spend four years and thereafter you have to serve your country, right? So you are already estimating Okay, in another five years, I would have finished school and I'll be in such a place. God keep my life. Something like that, right? So you can see those steps. But there are other details that you can't see. The question is, how prepared are you? How many steps can you see? And you have to get yourself ready for sudden turns. Now, number 15. Are you prepared to make use of the tools available to you? Or are you just going to be limited by circumstances? You know, a lot of people give up along the way because of the circumstances that they did not foresee. This is why I am bringing these questions so that when you admire someone and you say, oh, I want to be like this person. Oh, I wish to be like this person. If you take it seriously, it's something you can achieve. If you activate all these questions that I'm asking, ask yourself these questions. Write them down and answer the questions by yourself. Then it will help you to begin to think of ways to achieve the things that you admire. Okay? I was talking about tools. For example, in terms of tools to achieve the things that you are admiring, do you have the academic qualifications or can you go back to school to achieve it or how high can you go? 
If it's finances, if it's something that involves finances, are you ready? If it is something that involves human networking, access to people, location, what if you are required to relocate? <laughs> are you ready to start all over again when you relocate? You know that when you relocate from one place to another, it could be geographical location, it could be repositioning in life. Are you willing to relocate? If you have not subscribed to this channel, please do so before you forget. And please like this video, share it, comment on what I have just talked about. And to all my returning subscribers, I say a million thanks to you guys. See you in my next video and remain the best version of who you are.